let us discuss this example so what we have to prove we have to prove that limit extends to 4 root x is equal to 2 getting so you can see in if you have seen my previous video so we have exactly reverse problem here okay but see we have to prove it using epsilon delta definition so let us write the function first and we will take one epsilon let us do so see we have what is a function here our function f of x is root x right so f of x is root x and let us take one epsilon let epsilon greater than 0 be given so for this epsilon we have to find suitable delta which will satisfy the definition but as you know initially what we do first we work on mod f of x minus l we will simplify it then we will go further so let us consider here the same mod mod f of x minus limit what is the limit here 2 so this is equal to mod let us work on that what is our f of x f of x is as you can see root x minus 2 getting so see uh, you know that in a definition what we get mod x minus 4 less than delta right since x tends to 4 mod x minus 4 less than delta so you cannot find a direct relation that thing with this one okay so it's difficult to select delta so for that what will i do i will multiply numerator and denominator by root x plus 2 okay so let us do that so yeah mod root x minus 2 root x plus 2 here i will divide by root x plus 2 so see you know that a minus b a plus b a square minus b square that formula we can use so that's why we'll have root x square means x 2 square means 4 upon root x plus 2. So see numerator denominator we have we can take separate separate mod. So therefore mod x minus 4 upon mod root x plus 2. Okay let we can call it as equation number 1. So but this is not simple and regular problem since we have at numerator also we have x in denominator also we have x. So you cannot find direct relation between epsilon and delta. So for that, as you can see in our previous video, we had done some adjustment. That means initially we consider mod x minus a less than 1. So here also I, we need to do that thing. So see, let us do. So consider, consider what I am considering mod x minus 4 less than 1. This thing we have considered mod x minus 4 less than 1. We need to consider initially, okay. Since we have to prove that it is less than some fixed constant. So we can easily find the relation. So let us work on that. I hope you remember the result mod a less than b if and only if minus b less than a less than b. So this is very very important result. We use it several times. Okay. Let us use this result here. What will you get? So minus 1 less than x minus 4 less than 1 using this result. So as you can see x minus 4 is there. We need to add 4 in all sides. So therefore what will you get? 4 minus 1 less than if you add 4 x 4 plus 1 5 here also we can write 3 directly to save our own step okay but see my focus is on root x plus 2 okay we need to adjust that term root x plus 2 what will i do see x is greater than 3 less than 5 so therefore we can write 1 less than x less than 9 so maybe you, you have shock why i have done that thing right so if x is greater than 5 uh, sorry x is greater than 3 so clearly it is greater than 1 and it is less than 5 so clearly it is less than 9 so purposely i have taken some perfect squares 1 is a square of 1 9 is a square of 3 that's why let us take square root of both sides what will happen so square root of 1 is 1 square root of x is root x square root of 9 is 3 so this thing we have got so as i told you earlier my target is to bring this root x plus 2 root x i have got so i will add 2 in all sides so if you add 2 so 3 less than root x plus 2 less than 5 L let me remove this one it is not required see after that hmm, after that what will i do see it is greater than 3 it is greater than 3 so obviously it is positive since it is greater than 3 so its mod will be same as root x plus 2 so this is root x plus 2 it is positive so if you write mod or if you do not write mod doesn't matter getting so it will have the same value 
So root x plus 2 is greater than 3. So if you take reciprocal of both sides, what will happen? Inequality will get changed. So it is greater than 1 upon mod root x plus 2. I will write it properly. Hmm? So therefore, 1 upon root x plus 2, it has mod less than 1 by 3. See, denominator we have got 1 upon root x, root x plus 2 is less than 1 by 3. So what can we write here? Equation 1 becomes, let me write that thing here. Then 1 becomes, 1 becomes, uh, yeah, we started with mod f of x minus 2. And yes, its value is this one, but 1 upon root x plus 2, mod root x plus 2, x less than 1 by 3. So this is less than x minus 4 by 3. Right, since 1 upon this one is less than 1 by 3. I will call it as inequality number 2. After that, we select delta. We choose, let me write that thing. We choose delta is equal to, I should write minimum. Why I should write minimum? As you know, we write delta is equal to epsilon upon or into something, right? But see, we have already considered this thing. So our choice of delta should be minimum of 1 and that relation, okay? So that's why we need to write minimum. As you can see in our previous study, we have done the same thing here. So see, there is no more space to write. So make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So now finally, what we do, we go for the definition. So here also, then 0 less than mod x minus 4 less than delta. Since x approaches to 4, so mod x minus 4 less than delta. And we have to prove that mod f of x minus this 2 is less than epsilon. We have already worked on it and in from 2 what we get mod f of x minus 2 is less than mod x minus 4 by 3. So my choice of delta should be 3 epsilon getting. So what will happen this okay let us see what will happen huh. So this is mod x minus 4 is uh, less than delta by 3 right. So my delta is 3 epsilon it is minimum so that's why it is less than or equal to 3 epsilon by 3. 3, 3 will get cancelled and we will have epsilon. So finally, we succeed in proving that definition mod f of x minus 2 is less than epsilon. So therefore, definition is satisfied and that's why we can say therefore limit x tends to 4 root x is equal to 2. So in this way, we proved. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.